Welcome to Joe's RC Pit. Today I'll be talking about how I got my DX9 linked to the NASA MV2 flight controller. And what we have set up right now is we have our DX9. It's currently set up to our TBS Discovery Pro, which is out of the shot right now. And also we have here on the software is the NASA MV2 software running in real time in the background. So I wanted to show you how I mapped my controls. This may not be the best way to do it, but this is the way that I have it done. It seems to work for me. Um, if you've got some better ways of doing it, please uh, post in the comments. So what we have right here, we're going to start with the channel U, which is our flight mode input control. Right now we have it in flight mode 1, and we're reading minus 796 on the NASA software. So we're going to go to flight mode 2. Flight mode 2. And in flight mode 2, we have uh, it moved here to 0, and then we're going to flight mode 3. In flight mode 3, I have it at approximately 787. And now we're going to go to emergency landing mode. Fail safe. Return home. Landing mode. Now we're at 749. So that would be our fail safe level. And we're going to set this all back. Fail safe. Normal mode. Flight mode 1. Okay. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the rudder control. This would be down here on the left stick. And you're going to watch this input here for R. And we're going to move it to the left. And there's our rudder going left, back to the center, and then our rudder going right, and then back to the center. So as you can see, this R input here for rudder is to the left, left and right control, like that. Now we're going to go with throttle. Uh, when we move up throttle, our timer is going to start, so it's going to start talking, but we'll, we'll, we'll clear that. Uh, so this is going to be, now we're going to be looking at throttle, which is this number here. You want to make sure, throttle cut. if you have throttle cut... You want it in launch mode, so you can see your throttle going up. If you have throttle cut enabled, uh, here I'll show you. There's, you can see. Yeah, that's real annoying. <laughs> so you want this in launch mode, and then when you pull your throttle up, you'll see here, there's your throttle going up and down. So the left stick going up and down should make this level T here on the NASA software go up and down as well. Okay, now we will go to the right stick here, and the first thing we're going to look at is the ailerons. And we can see here as you move the stick right, you're going to be looking at the A here in the software. And you see as you move the stick left, this is the input you want to set for your ailerons. And then for the elevator, it's the same thing. We're going to be looking at the E, and we move the stick down and up like this. That's the input you want to see for that. So that's pretty much... Uh, all the inputs you want mapped for, for normal flight. And uh, if you move the, one of these sticks and it inputs to one of these other controllers, that means you either have it programmed wrong in the radio or you may have it connected wrong on the quad. But in either way, uh, you can you can fix it how you choose. You can rewire the quad or you can redo the software. I think redoing the software would be a lot easier, but uh, we'll leave that up to you. So that's about all I have for you right now. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them on the YouTube site and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.